and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, then my name is Kashish and in today's video, I'm gonna be reading Fourth Wing. Uh, so it's gonna be like a spoiler free Fourth Wing reading vlog. So don't worry, I'm not gonna give you guys any spoilers or anything which is like important or like that or something that would ruin your reading experience. So uh, I am a bit skeptical starting this because you know sometimes when books are hyped a lot i just don't find the charm in them anymore if you know what i mean so i'm just a little scared but i'm so excited to read as well because you know it's a war college and dragons i mean like what more do i need and it's just i'm in a very i'm in like a proper fantasy mood like i'm just enjoying reading fantasy books so i think this would be perfect and can we just like take a minute to appreciate how pretty this book is like just look at this cover and the sprayed edges so i was lucky enough to like find this copy like i bought it the next day it came to india so i got it and it's just so pretty like i just can't stop looking at it so yeah i let's just let's just start reading and just see how it goes <laughs> Okay, so before starting, I thought I'll just give you guys a blurb or like just tell you about what the book or just tell you what the book is about. So, uh, welcome to the brutal and elite world of Basquiat War College. War College. So, please just do not focus on my pronunciations because I do not know how, you know, the names are pronounced. So just be patient with me. 20-year-old Violet Sorengale was supposed to enter the scribe quadrant, living a quiet life among books and history. Now, the commanding general, her tough as Talon's mother, has ordered Violet to join the hundreds of candidates striving to become the elite of Navari, Dragon Riders. But when you're smaller than everyone else and your body is brittle, death is only a heartbeat away. Because dragons don't bond to fragile humans, they incinerate them. With fewer dragons willing to bond than cadets, most would kill Violet to better their chances of success. The rest would kill her just for being her mother's daughter. Like Zayden Ryerson, the most powerful and ruthless wing leader in the rider squadron. She'll, she'll need every edge her wits can give her just to see the next sunrise. Yet, with every day that passes, the war outside grows more deadly. The kingdom's protective wards are failing and the death toll continues to rise. Even worse, Violet began to suspect leadership is hiding a terrible secret. Every year at Basquiat, sorry, everyone at Basquiat has an agenda. So sleep with one eye open because once you enter, there are only two ways out, graduate or die. Yeah, so it does sound very interesting and let's start reading. So I've only read uh, one chapter till now. I don't know why, but it took me like an hour to read the first chapter. I think because it's a new world. There's a lot of world building and plot building. I guess that's why. Or I'm just a slow reader. It could be because I'm a slow reader. So yeah, just read chapter one. And you know, at the end of chapter one, there was this character that I was like starting to like that I liked in like one or two percent and then he dies. Yeah. So I'm just scared to like get attached to characters here. What if they die? I'm not prepared for that. And we were also introduced with our main character. Like the guy main character that is Zayden. Zayden, yeah Zayden. I like the fact that he was introduced in the first chapter as well because sometimes books just take a lot of time to just get the get both of the characters together. Yeah, so I'm glad that he was introduced in the first chapter only. So yeah, let's continue reading. Daytime, I've only read around 100 pages. And as of now, I don't have any opinion about any of the characters. Like, um, Violet is pretty good. I feel like, you know, she just needs a little bit of character development, I think, which will happen through the book. So I like her and I like her friend Rhiannon a lot and I just like the friendship that you know, they're starting to have 
and as of now i can't say anything about zayden because he's not been around that much as of now we've only been shown that you know they are enemies and apparently zayden's father killed violet's brother and it's just a very messed up situation so both of them just don't like each other at the moment but i can still feel like they have a little chemistry like i feel like i don't it'll come more in the book as of now they're just getting adjusted to life as a student in uh, the war college so it's been pretty slow as of now but the only thing i want to say as of now is dane okay what is up with that guy can he just not be supportive for like two freaking seconds is that too much to ask as a best friend so yeah as of now i'm really not liking his character and he's just such a debbie downer oh my god so yeah let's just keep reading and see how i feel in another 50 60 pages Okay so I've been reading for the past 2 uh, to 3 hours and you know I've read till I think page 150 at mark so as of now I'm really liking it like but I'm just waiting for the dragons to come because you know I've seen so many reels about the dragons and I'm just waiting for the dragons to come and I think it's around 11 or 12 o'clock in the night and it's like I just can't stop reading and like the writing is so simple and it's just like after you just you know get through like initially in the start it was taking me a lot of time to read but now that i've gotten used to the writing it's much easier for me to like you know it's it's much faster for me to get through just i can't stop reading oh my god amazing like i'm i'm telling you as soon as the dragons come in i'm going to love it even more so let's continue and i'll be back with another update Oh my god finally we have a good zaden and violet scene where you know i can feel that they will be a good couple oh my god violet targets are here I freaking love how sarcastic her dragon is. Like I want a sarcastic dragon, please. What have I done wrong? I love how protective her dragon is of her. Loving them. guys good morning so it's the next day i was up till 3 o'clock in the night reading the fourth wing it's like i just couldn't stop and i think i just probably fell asleep reading the book i just couldn't i couldn't let myself leave reading it because it's going so well and you know it's like violet has like finally chosen or like bonded with her dragon and oh my god that that plot twist over there i did not expect it like i did not expect it Oh my god but it's going so well and it's it's sunday so like i have no plans i'm just going to sit at home and read the whole day i think i read till page 180 yeah let me check yeah yeah i've read till page 180 yes let's continue I did not expect this.
not ugh i want a dragon to spelling her name right but she is freaking adorable oh my god <laughs> okay finally an awesome scene between kaden and violet halfway done i am done with 250 pages and it's going really well as of now um just want to say that i hate d dane whatever his name is do not care like if i thought tamlin was a horrible this guy just trumps him oh my god he is such a such an irritating character rather than supporting violet he keeps on undermining her like yeah i would never want a best friend like this you are not worth my time or my efforts oh my god he just pisses me off so much i want tarant to burn him like literally burn him i'm being very serious right now if you can understand what i'm saying oh my god i hate that guy i hate that guy but yeah we finally had this amazing scene between a pilot and zaden and it's just i am loving their chemistry it is so good and he calls her violence and i think it's nice pretty apt about because according to her character as well so it's going pretty well and i think it's it's in the afternoon right now yeah and i've reached 250 pages let's go the stupid cynicism which nobody wants to hear so annoyed with this guy dude nobody wants to hear what you want to say please shut up and i think it's around it's around 2 o'clock in the morning yeah i have college tomorrow i have to wake up at 7 am and i can't stop reading this book and violet and zaden just got together oh my god i'm in love with this guy like i finally get the hype like you know at like around 250 pages i was like i don't know why people like him so much but yeah i definitely get the hype now oh my god i need a zaden reason and you know his character and his power just reminds me of asriel from uh, a court of thorns and roses and asriel is my favorite character so i'm just loving this you know an upgraded or like a more confident version of asriel so yeah it is perfect in that aspect i'm going to try and read a little more but i feel like i don't think i can last more because i'm hella tired and like i have to wake up at 7 o'clock but i can't stop reading please guys just pick it up i'm like at the 
I'm just left with I think 120 pages and I feel like the last the last 100 pages are like you know where everything just goes to just goes downhill and you know we'll and you know the plot development has also been really well like you know we have some things going on in the background besides uh, Zayden and Violet and that is also pretty inter pretty interesting and I just want to know what happens hello guys so it's the next day I've been in college the whole day and I'm now now I'm back at home and I'm finally gonna you know sit and finish fourth wing today like I'm in two minds like I don't want to finish it but then at the same time I need to know what happens in the end and it's just I've been in college the whole day and I've been dying to get back and just read and just know what happened in the last hundred pages because I've seen so many reels where people say that the last part or like the last page of this of the book is brutal and it'll just make you crazy or like you know crazy or like want the second book right now so I I'm a little scared also I don't know what will happen because I know that this author is like cruel and I feel like somebody's gonna die and I don't want anyone to die and it's just as of now I'm loving Zayden and Violet I hate Dane I love her friendships I love Liam oh my god he's so adorable and um, at the same time uh, I love the dragons and just the whole concept of the dragons I mean they communicate with their rider through their minds I mean how freaking cute or adorable is that I don't know if you would find it adorable but I find it adorable so yeah let's just let's just finish this book and just see what happens <laughs> I did not expect this from you, dude. I feel sad for Violet. Yeah, I don't know what's going on now. Okay, this does kind of make sense. He didn't betray her. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm happy now. have 50 pages left and I'm scared to read it I feel like something really bad is going to happen and I don't want to read it I don't want to read the last 50 pages I can't believe Violet's mom is like so bad to her like why 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 do you have to be so cruel I don't get it let's just finish it I don't want to finish it No! God, please, no! 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 I'm only left with 30 pages. Should I just leave it till the time that second book comes out? Because I don't want to finish it. I hate this. I hate this. Why? Why? I need to process what just happened. So yeah, I finished fourth wing. Five stars. I definitely give it five stars. But the last 30 pages were like torture and that last line i get why people you know were like going crazy about that ending because what the hell just happened what the hell i mean i have no words this book was so freaking good there was this point where i thought zayden had betrayed violet and i was so pissed at him 
बट यू नो दैट क्लियर्स आउट and i'm just in love with that couple they freaking deserve to be together they are like that they are like those soulmate couples that you know you know are made for each other and it's just this book was too good too good like it definitely lives up to its hype and if you trust my opinions then just please pick it up it's so good there are a lot of things i want to say but since this is a spoiler free video I'm I'm just gonna give you my reaction, and I will just have a different video where I'm just gonna rant about fourth wing because I have so many opinions. That ending, that ending. Oh my God, why, why, why did somebody have to die? He didn't have to die. Yeah, I just I, I'm just a mess at the moment. I just need to process whatever happened. So I'm just gonna conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of my reactions reading Fourth Wing. It was definitely a lot of fun. And do let me know your opinions and your own thoughts about this book if you've already read it. But just please put a spoiler warning before you write something. So thank you so much for watching and bye bye.